hey what is up everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel today in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can flash the stock rom on your samsung galaxy s7 edge so yeah let's get started all right so first up we're gonna to have to download some files head over to the links in the description down below and you will be taken to these pages so first one is the samsung android usb driver click on the download link over here and the download will start next up is patched odin as usual i recommend patch odin over the normal odin when you come to this page just scroll down a little bit and here you will find the latest version just click on it and the download will start next up is the firmware for our phone so first up here in this blank you need to enter your device's model number mine is sm hyphen g 935u again your phone's model number might be different so you can cross check it by going to the about phone section in your phone settings app or looking at the back of the phone to find the model number so mine is this model SMG935U I'm gonna click the result here and then when you scroll down you will have to select your phone CSE code my phone CSE is XAA if you don't know your phone CSE code you can go and expand this other tools drop down menu and then go to check IMEI and then here in this blank you can input your phone's IMEI or serial number and then you will get the information of your phone over here and there you can check your phone CSE code so yeah once you have got your phone CSE code come back here and then as I told you mine is XAA so I'm going to choose XAA scroll down a little bit choose the latest build which is G935UUESB CTA3 I'm going to choose that and now scroll down again and here you can use any of the uh, downloading option I prefer uh, using the Google Drive server and one more thing guys if you are using the Google Drive server I suggest you to make a copy first before downloading so you can click on the three dots over here and then select make a copy and then download the copy which is created why I tell you to do this is sometimes the uh, download gets uh, stuck in the middle and the download just cancels itself like it shows a network error or something like that so I prefer to you know first make a copy of it and then download the copy so yeah once you have done that you can exit out of your browser and then first up you need to install the Samsung USB driver I'm not gonna install it as I already have it installed it's just a normal setup wizard you will know how to do it next up is the Odin so let's extract the Odin zip file there's our Odin over here and now let's extract our firmware right click select extract tool again you can use any extracting tool over here now you just have to wait until the zip file extracts once that is done let's go ahead and check okay so all the firmware files are extracted now i recommend you to do this one thing what you need to do is copy the csc file it should say only csc not the home csc copy it somewhere to your desktop or something rename the file and then erase the last three letters which says md5 uh, and also the full stop as well so i'm gonna erase that select enter if this warning pops up select yes and then open the csc file just double click on it and it's going to open and here what you need to do is you need to copy the one which um, says like you know it's ending in dot pit again for your model it might say a different name it might not say hero 2 qlt usa open for your model it might say a different name just copy the file with the ending saying that dot pit file so i'm just going to copy that over to the firmware directory once that is done can refresh and then close out the zip file close everything now let's go ahead and open odin and then load our firmware files open the patched odin exe select ok and now first what we will need to do is we need to load the firmware files so first select bl and then you need to browse to where you have stored the extracted firmware of your phone and now as we clicked on bl over here we need to find the file which says bl in the beginning so i'm going to choose that like that you need to do for all of these so i'm going to choose cp and i'm going to choose the cp file which says cp in the beginning so 
I'm gonna choose that like that you need to do it for all of them CAC and at CAC don't choose the home underscore CAC just choose which says only CAC in the beginning which is CSC and then finally the AP file the AP file is the main you know system from a uh, file I think so it's gonna take some time to load and once everything is loaded head over to the PIT tab over here select OK on this warning and select this big PIT button and then make sure to choose your device PIT file which we extracted earlier be careful guys choose the correct file because this is very important if you do not choose this correctly it might break your phone head over to the options tab and then select NAND arrays over here and then make sure the first four boxes are checked and once you have done that we can go back to our log tab and now what we need to do is we need to boot our phone into the download mode and then connect the phone to our PC so yeah let's do that okay so first up we need to boot our phone into the download mode so before we do this I recommend you to remove all your accounts whether it may be Google account or Samsung account remove all of them you can log in again later so yeah remove all your accounts and now to boot into the download mode you will first have to switch off your phone and then press and hold the volume down the home button and the power button all simultaneously until it uh, goes into the download mode now I'm gonna keep the mic down and do it because I need two hands to do it alright so at this point you need to select the volume up button to continue and now once it says downloading we can go ahead and connect the USB cable to our computer I'm gonna do that again I'm gonna need two hands to do it alright once you connect your phone the box should fill up it's showing two uh, like two boxes are filled up over here because I'm using one mobile to uh, you know record the screen of the phone so yeah again your phone should uh, pop up in one of the boxes it say it might say com6 com9 or anything again recheck all the files mainly the PIT file make sure you have properly chosen the file and also the options tab you need to make sure you have checked the first four boxes so yeah first four boxes can come back to log and now we can press the start button now again it's just a waiting game as you can see my phone is actually in the com9 port the com6 is the phone which i'm using to record the screen of the phone so yeah now again it's just a waiting game so yeah i'll come back after this finishes flashing <laughs> So yeah guys uh, once this flashing finishes it's gonna say pass in, in this box with like a green background as soon as it says that you can disconnect the USB cable from your computer so yeah mine said the pass sign and I immediately disconnected the USB cable and now we're just gonna have to wait for the phone to boot as this is the first boot it's gonna take some time please be patient see our phone has booted into the setup screen so I'm just gonna finish the setup real quick and 
as you can see we are back in the stock chrome and the apps have loaded so yeah that is it for this video guys thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video